Welcome to the Alexandria Technical and Community College How to Read a Degree Audit Report, or DARS, for a Technical Program Tutorial. If you're unfamiliar with how to access your degree audit, or DARS, please watch the Accessing Your Degree Audit Report tutorial first. This can be found at alextech.edu slash rad. What is a technical program? A technical program is typically an associate of applied science, an associate of science, a diploma, or a certificate program that falls under one of the six technical divisions of the college, business and information technology, design, health and nursing, education and human services, police training, or manufacturing and transportation. Once you've accessed your degree audit report, at the very top is your name, as well as the academic program or major to which you are accepted. If this academic program is different than your intention, please see our Welcome Center to have it updated. A little farther down, you will find your academic advisor's name and email address. Typically, an advisor for a technical program is a program faculty member who will help you with course selection throughout your academic career at ATCC. This is who you should talk with regarding course advisement, registration, and creating an academic plan. Most technical programs at the college have college prep requirements in reading, writing, and or math. Satisfaction of prep requirements is measured in multiple ways. One way is by using high school GPA. If you have a high school GPA of 2.6 or higher that is from within the past 10 years, you will be exempt from any placement exams or prep courses for reading and writing. If you have a high school GPA of 2.8 or higher that is from within the past 10 years, you will be exempt from any placement exams or prep courses for arithmetic or quantitative reasoning. If you have a high school GPA of 2.8 or higher and have completed high school algebra two with a C minus or better, you will be exempt from placement exams or prep courses for college algebra level courses. If you have no high school GPA listed or don't meet the GPA requirements, any ACT, SAT, and MCA scores or prior college coursework will be looked at. If you do not meet any of the exemption requirements, you will be asked to take an Accuplacer exam for the areas your program has prep requirements for. The prep requirements for your specific program can be found toward the bottom of your audit. These vary from program to program, and the ways to meet the requirements are also listed under each requirement. You will also notice that transfer work is listed on your degree audit report. If you have existing college coursework from another college or university that is applicable to your program, you will see the information listed here, including the institution the credits were transferred in from, the number of completed tr credits transferred in, and any in-progress credits waiting to be transferred in. Further down on the audit is where you'll see the individual courses and how they apply to your program requirements and or MNTC courses. Additionally, you must earn a 2.0 cumulative GPA to graduate from ATCC. Your ATCC GPA will update on your degree audit as you complete courses. Typically, technical program audits are broken up into multiple requirement sections, two of which are technical program requirements and liberal arts or gen ed requirements. Technical requirements are courses from within your major that are required for graduation from your program and are specific to the program in which you are enrolled. The number of credits required for each section will be listed, as well as the number of credits earned, in progress, and still needed. You will notice several different colors of icons next to your requirements as you move through your program. A red box with an X means the requirement has not been met. A blue box with three dots means the requirement is in progress, and a green box with a check mark means the requirement has been met. Liberal arts or gen ed requirements are still required for you to graduate from most majors, but may not be specific to your program. AAS degrees require students to have at least 15 credits of Minnesota transfer curriculum courses from at least three of the 10 goal areas. AS degrees require students to have at least 30 credits of Minnesota Transfer Curriculum courses from at least six of the 10 goal areas. Diplomas and certificates may or may not require MNTC or other non-MNTC gen ed courses in their curriculums.